Hi, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and I'm back on the uh, studio side of things today because I want to make a video that shows how to set up a MIDI controller and a keyboard inside your doll. Now, um, for this video, I will be using uh, the Novation Launch Key 61 as the uh, uh, MIDI controller slash keyboard. And the software I'll be using is going to be Persona Studio One. Now, the process would be the same across all dolls and all hardware. The functionality may differ, but basically the setup process is going to be the same. So let's dive into uh, Studio One and get this going. All right. So when you're in Studio One, the first thing you're going to want to do is click on your preferences tab and chances are this is going to be the window that's going to open up so you'll see your general tab here you're going to want to go over to your external devices you click on that and you're going to go down here to the bottom and you're going to click the add button that is going to bring up this add device window now depending on your device you're going to want to find your uh you know your brand here like uh like if you have, have a behringer you're going to want to see if if you know one of the models is is here or a kai for example you know you want to see if you know your brand is there um for what i'm using the innovation we are going to be using the huey protocol so um i'm going to go click on mackie and select huey and then for the uh, receive from I want to click on it. I want to go down to the launch key and select doll out. So this is going to receive, uh, Studio One is going to receive doll information from the output of the launch key. Now for the send, I'm going to want to select doll in. So my doll, this is going to receive the launch key is going to receive doll information from the, uh, the Studio One there. I'm going to click OK. So we have our control surface set up. Now, the way we have this set up, we can send and receive MIDI control information from the Novation launch key into Studio One and back. So this will include transportation controls, fader controls, and any other type of knobs or settings we want to change here on the, uh, on the, on the keyboard. Now, that's one facet of what we're trying to do today. The other facet is we want to take these, the keys and the pads here, we want to be able to play in MIDI information. So how you want to do that is you, again, you want to go back to the add button here, and you want to click on new keyboard. So I'm um, instead of new keyboard, I'm going to name this Launch Key 61, and my manufacturer. Let's go Novation. All right. Now for this, for the receive from, I'm going to select the Launch Key MIDI out. That's all I'm doing. I am sending MIDI information out from the Launch Key into the studio one software so that's all i'm doing i do not need to return from the software into the into the keyboard because we are already sending in information from the software to the midi controller so we're what i'm setting up here is just the keyboard and that's going to be the keys and the drum pads of the launch key 61 so the next thing I'm going to do, and this is preference here, you don't have to do this, I'm going to select default instrument input. All right, by selecting that, what that means is that um, anytime I create a new instrument, the default instrument input is going to be the launch key. Uh, so now, again, that's just my preference. So I'm going to click OK there. And so now I have got the launch key set up as a keyboard and the launch key set up as a MIDI controller. So let's click OK here. 
and see what that means inside of Studio One. All right, so um, I've got a drum beat here. So quickly, let's take a look at the transportation controls. We have play, we have stop, and we have record. So let's see what happens if we hit the play button. All right. So you can see here we didn't get any sound. And the reason for that is these faders work. So this fader here controls a track. This controls a track. So on and so forth. So for this one here, I want to move up this fader. And there we go. We can see that just uh, increased the volume on this instrument. So let me go back to the beginning. Hit play again. Now I can control the volume of that track with this fader. I can stop the track by hitting the stop button. If I want to go back to the beginning, I hit stop again. So there we go. I've returned to zero. Um, I can also enable a loop. I can turn on and off the click. I have an undo button. So if I'm recording and I don't like something I did, I can hit undo. I can quantize the track. And I can also do create capture MIDI, which will allow me to assign um, an encoder or a button to something inside of Studio One. So all these things are possible by because I enabled this as a MIDI controller. Now, that, again, that's just one facet of what I wanted to do today. I also want to be able to play in information from the keyboard. So um, let's take this drum, for example. Let me open up the instrument. And today we are using uh, the Savior Custom Drum Module by DrumForge. And you can see here we've got different drums and, and, and such uh, for this kit. Now, these instruments are also found on the keyboard. So, let me turn this up a little bit. So, there is my kick. You can see when I hit the kick, the uh, icon for the kick, is it, 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 it interacts with it. So we have our snare. And again, those are velocity sensitive as well. So we've got our right snare and our left snare. So I've got two hands. I got a right left. And you have your kick. And you have your other parts of, of your kit there as well. So on and so forth. We also have the ability to use our pads. Kick, snare left, or snare right, snare left. So again, you can... so on and so forth. So we have control of our drum instrument. We can also um, do keyboard control. Let's bring in Omnisphere. That's one of my favorite go-to synths. And again, this, this is really good because this gives us the ability to control the tracks. So right now, Omnisphere is, was brought in, but you can see our fader levels all the way up. So I can find that track right here, and by moving the fader here in, on, on, my, on my synth, I'm able to uh, assign Omnisphere to this fader. Okay, so um, let me generate a... Turn this down, I want it to be too loud. Let's try a 
So, we could get MIDI playback. Let me mute the drums. I'm not going to need the drums here anymore in this example. But I want to show you how we can um, take, take the track we just brought in and then record right from the keyboard. Again, MIDI controller and keyboard. We created two separate um, pieces of hardware off of one unit. Now, not every keyboard is going to have the functionality of the Launch Key 61. That's not the point here. You could very easily go get a MIDI controller and a keyboard as two separate uh, pieces and work, use them together. This just happens to be an all-in-one MIDI controller and a, and a keyboard that allows you to generate MIDI information. So, um, make sure I'm at the beginning. And uh, let's give it a just a we'll get four clicks and we're in. so on and so forth so you're able to do things right from this keyboard and not have to worry about running to your computer hitting the mouse button or whatever so let's say that this keyboard that i have was on the other side of my studio um because i have all this midi control capability here i can not have to worry about being close to my computer and uh create all these uh, different types of um, aspects to my recording session without being um, hamstrung to the computer. So I can be more creative in that way because I'm not moving mouse uh, 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 for all my moves. I'm not having to click stuff. I'm not having to look at, at a computer screen. I can be somewhere with headphones on, uh, 10, 20 feet away from a computer and be able to control everything I'm doing right from here and being more immersed in the create creative aspect of it instead of having to feel like, you know, I'm 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 creating with mouse clicks and all. Now, that's not to say that you, you can completely abandon your mouse and your old way of working, but it is nice to know that you're not tethered to the computer, that there is a distance between yourself and the computer. Um, there are... Uh, many, many, many things you can do when you have a, a keyboard set up like this. Um, I I don't want to go too deep into this. I just want to be able to show how you can do it in uh, in your doll uh, to sort of try to liberate yourself from, um, you know, again, from, from, from having to click a record button on your doll and, and then jump over real quick to your keyboard. Um, that... I'm not saying that that is a bad way to work, but there are better ways. So, um, uh, if you have any questions about what we're doing here or what I've showed and uh, you're not sure if it'll work with, with the, the doll that you use, please feel free to drop a comment. I'd be more than happy to give you some instructions for other dolls. Um, 
I'm going to put a um, affiliate link for uh, this keyboard, the uh, Novation uh, Launch Key 61, in the description of, the, of this video, um, as well as a couple other affiliate links. You can feel free to click on those. Uh, they'll take you to um, where I got this equipment from, and it will not cost you any more money. What it does do is it helps fund my studio. So um, that's the reason why I'm even putting the links there. Uh, uh, I want to give you guys the same great deal that I got when I bought this gear. Um, and um, if, if you found what I'm sharing with you valuable, then by all means, please use the affiliate links. Now, again, that helps me here in the studio. Um, also, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at bbuck822 at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you have any uh, videos you'd like to see made, as, especially with with what I showed here today, if we'd like, if you'd like to, um, uh, you know, let me know what what doll you're using, what type of hardware you have. I can do some research. I'm not saying I'm going to go out and buy this keyboard you have and and do a hookup here in my studio, but I, the, 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 it doesn't mean that I won't be able to help you with with you know your situation. All right. Um, I hope you found this informative. I hope you've, uh, if you've got a similar device, you can go get it hooked up in your in your studio in this way, where you're sort of able to control your doll all from your keyboard, and um, get moving forward with the creative process in a more liberating fashion. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, for watching, and I, pr I appreciate everything you guys are doing for my channel, helping me out in the way that you guys are with your feedback and all your positive energy. Thank you very much and hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye now.